Hello students. In this chemistry session of grade 12 LS and GS sections, we are going to talk about alcohols, which is chapter 9 of Organic Chemistry 2 of your book. By the end of this, se of this session, you should be able to define open chain and saturated monoalcohols and give their general formula. You should be able to write the molecular and the structural formulas of alcohols and give their names. You should be able also to classify alcohols and comment on their physical properties. Let me ask you a question. Do you have an alcohol bottle beside you right now? Do you use it frequently? We all use alcohols right now to purify our hands and our objects from viruses. So, alcohols have many uses in our daily life. For this, let us know more about them. We have to know about saturated open chain monoalcohols in this chapter. So, what is meant by saturated? Saturated means that the carbon chain contains no double bonds. Open chain ha means that this carbon chain is not cyclic. And monoalcohols are alcohols whose carbon chain has an OH group bound to it. Only one OH group. This OH group, which is the functional group, is named hydroxyl group. Example, this is a monoalcohol, a saturated open chain monoalcohol, and this OH is named hydroxyl group. Let us together determine the general molecular formula of alcohols. Please, I want from you to help me. Give me the molecular formula of this molecule at first, please. It is C2H6. Oh, and this, it is C3H8O. So, the general molecular formula of alcohols is ROH. ROH. You know, R has a general molecular formula CNH2N plus 1. For this, alcohols can be considered as CNH2N plus 1 OH. Or simply, simply, their molecular formula can be written in this way, CnH2n plus 2O. Second po point in this chapter is how to name this alcohol. To name alcohols, take the name of the alkane and put instead of E or L. For example, this is the smallest alcohol. To name it, take the name of methane and put instead of E or L, methanol. This is ethanol. Note by that the carbon chain, the carbon atom, sorry, the carbon atom that is connected to the functional group is called functional carbon. Now, for alcohols having carbon chain consisting of two of more than two carbon atoms, you have to mention the position of OH on this carbon chain. For example, in this molecule, we have to say not propanol. Instead, we have to say one propanol. Another example, this is, I have to number this chain. From where should I start numbering? From here, from the nearest end to the functional group, this is 2-butanol. Example 3, help me, we have to name this molecule, so I have to find the longest chain, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Both chains are same, take any one, I will take this, put numbers, these are the numbers, now, locate the branch and name it 3-methyl-1-butanol. Application number one. Give the name of the following compound. You have this compound. You have to give its name. Please try to redraw it in a simpler way to show the branches. This 
alcohol has two branches. Locate the main chain, number it, and put the name. It is a three, three dimethyl, one butanol. Both methyls are on carbon number three. Application number two. Help me to draw the condensed structural formula of the following organic compound. It is pentanol with branches. So please, on a paper in front of you, put five carbon atoms beside each other. On carbon number one, put what? One or each. Here, on carbon number one, put one or each. On carbon number two and the three, we have to put what? Methyl. Here methyl and here methyl. Now fill each carbon with a suitable number of hydrogen atoms so that each carbon will be saturated. This title is about structures and isomers of alcohols. Together, please, let us draw the condensed structural formulas of alcohols having this molecular formula, C4H9OH. Four carbon atoms, at first draw the structure having the linear chain and put OH on carbon number one. You get what? One butanol. To find the other isomer, what will you do? You will move this OH to carbon number two. It will be like this, it is to butanol. Now, draw the main chain with only three carbon atoms and the force put it as a branch. This molecule is an isomer of this molecule, so please put OH on carbon number one, name it, it will be 2-methyl-1-propanol. For the fourth one, what will you do? Can you find the fourth isomer? Move this OH to carbon number 2, you will get the fourth isomer, it will be 2-methyl-2-propanol. So, these structures have same molecular formula, but different structural uh, or condensed structural formulas, we call them isomers. Among these isomers, I want from you, please, to locate or to choose the positional isomers and the skeletal isomers. I will help you. To find the positional isomer, look for two molecules that have exactly the same carbon chain, exactly the same carbon chain, but different position of the functional group. So these two molecules have exactly the same carbon chain, but different position of OH, so we call them positional isomers. A and B are positional isomers. Now it's your turn. Please try to find another pair of positional isomers. I am waiting for you. Did you see that this molecule and this molecule have same carbon chain? The position of OH here on carbon number one and here on carbon number two. So these two molecules are exactly the same except for the position of the OH. We call them positional isomers. C and D are positional isomers. Now, skeletal isomers. To find the skeletal isomers, A and C are skeletal. Why? Can you know why? These two molecules have OH in both molecules on same carbon, which is carbon number one, but they do have different carbon arrangement. So they are skeletal isomers. So A and C are skeletal isomers. Now it's your turn. Please give me another pair of skeletal isomers. Yes, B and D are skeletal isomers because they have same different arrangement of carbon atoms with OH on carbon number two in both. Now consider this molecule. It is an ether having different functional group than those, but same number of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. 
This means that this is this means that they have same molecular formula as those, but different functional group. We say that this molecule is a functional isomer with each of A, B, C, and D. Now together we will find the classes of alcohols. You have to help me to find the classes of alcohols. For this, I want from you first to find the functional carbon of each molecule. Where is the functional carbon? Here, 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 and here. The carbon bound to OH is the functional carbon. Together, let us find in A how many alkyl groups are connected to the functional carbon. Here, we have only one alkyl group. We say it is primary alcohol. Here, we have one, two, two alkyl groups connected to the functional carbon. It is secondary. Here, we have one, two, three functional groups connected to this carbon. We say it is tertiary alcohol. Now, here, it's your turn. What is the class of this alcohol? Is it secondary? No, it's primary. Only one alkyl group is attached to this carbon, so we say it is primary alcohol. So, there are three classes of alcohols as a summary. Primary alcohol where the functional carbon carries only one alkyl group. Secondary alcohol where the functional carbon carries two alkyl groups and tertiary alcohols where the functional carbon carries the three alkyl groups. Physical properties of alcohols. The physical properties of alcohols are determined by the presence of this OH. This OH bond is a polar bond. So in a pure alcohol, a slight attraction between these slightly positive and negative charges is found. This is slight attraction is called hydrogen bond. This hydrogen bond determines the physical properties of alcohols. More energy is needed to break these bonds and transform this alcohol into gas. So this hydrogen bond is responsible for the high boiling point of alcohols and also it's responsible for the high solubility of alcohol. When we put an alcohol in water, hydrogen bonds help it to become soluble in water. Okay, please, you have to compare the boiling point of this alcohol with the boiling point of an ether having exactly the same molecular weight. Of course, this will have higher boiling point due to the presence of this OH group, OH bond. Of course, as the molecular weight of this alcohol increases, the boiling point will increase. Finally, let us make an application exercise to review everything in this chapter. It says that the general molecular formula of an alcohol is CnH2n plus 2. Part 1 of this exercise says deduce the molecular formula of a monoalcohol, which is the third member of this family. So, it's an alcohol, then it satisfies, it satisfies this molecular formula. Third member, then an equal what? 3. Okay, this is C3H8O. Part 2, write the content structural formula of the isomers of A. First isomer, 3 carbon atoms with OH on carbon number 1. And second isomer, 3 carbon atoms with OH on number 2. Finally, you want the names. This name is 1-propanol and this is 2-propanol. Classes. The class of A is primary because only one alkyl group is bound to carbon number 1, functional carbon. And the class of B is secondary because two alkyl groups are connected to the functional carbon. For next time, solve numbers 1 and 2 of your chemistry book, page 226. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.